Okay, guys, so we're still in our double underscore layout dot svelte file here. And now I'm going to show you how to add SCSS to our project. So generally, you'd think you could just say lang SCSS. That's what I assumed. Assumed it would work. Turns out when you save that, it doesn't work. It says cannot find any of modules SAS node SAS. Cannot find module node SAS. Pretty easy to actually solve. We're simply going to go down here cancel running our project and then we're going to run npm install and we have to say dash dash save dev this could also be shorthand to dash capital d and then we're going to add node sas now before i hit enter i want to show you the package file this is going to update and it's going to add node sas to that with whatever current production version of node sas exists so i hit that i run that and obviously it's a node file so it's going to install What's going to happen is it's going to end up in the node modules folder as well. But as you can see here, this is updated and it's working. So, well, I assume it's working. We're going to run npm run dev to see. And then I'm going to restart this. Or oh, it restarted automatically. And now suddenly this works. Okay, well, I haven't done anything aside from stop this from not working. This problem over here, this stays here until you restart VS Code. So I'm going to quickly restart VS Code so we don't see these red lines. And hopefully everything will work now. Let me restart running dev. So we're going to npm run dev again. There we go. It's running. And yeah, it looks like it's no longer showing that file. So that's just an annoying thing where our VS code doesn't seem to pick up the change. Uh, it is a bug. It's annoying. And it, it's a false thing that shows you that there's a problem when there really isn't one. Right. Now, the cool thing about SCSS or Sassy CSS is we can merge these two to make it easier to read. We can essentially move this h1. I'm going to cut it, delete that, and paste it in over here. It's a bit messy. Now it's clean. And this still works. Let's see, if I did a margin 10 px, watch this move around. Or, yeah, that moves around because of that. I mean, I could say, uh, let's move it back to zero. But you can see a change happens essentially. So the H1 inside header happens. I could set the color to uh, gray. Sorry, that's the way we spell gray in South Africa. I know it's different to the US. And that H1 inside the header changes, which is awesome. So this is actually working. Now that said, now that we're using SCSS, we can do something special with global. We don't have to wrap it like this. Instead, we can take this out and we can say global and then HTML inside here. This only works with sassy CSS, with SCSS. It does not work. You cannot use the syntax with a normal CSS. Now this is useful because we want this body to go all the way. Well, first of all, we want this body to be fixed. We This uh, white space around here is annoying. This is caused by a margin in the body. So we can fix that by saying margin zero. And bam, look, it works. Now secondly, I want this to take on the full height. So we can do this by changing height in a few places. We're going to say 100% in the HTML. This height is obviously for the HTML over there. So I'm going to make this bigger. And then we also need to change the height of our body. Again, I'm doing this in alphabetical order because I find it easier. Except where it's nested, that's in nested order. That's important. And then... Bear in mind, we're changing our app HTML. So there's HTML and then body, and then there's a div with the ID svelte. So back to layout, we're going to inside body, target ID svelte. And here I want to say display flex. Now this is going to break things. This is going to look really weird now. But don't worry, we can fix it. Because if we change flex direction to column, it's all pretty again. And then... We want to say height 100%. So now this all takes up the full height, except the contents inside here, like these parts are not. And finally, because this is a display flex, this means the items inside can now have flex properties. So down at main, I'm going to add flex one. And now suddenly it takes up the whole page, which is fantastic. The last thing I want to do is just say overflow Y and say auto so this means now if in our index again let's just say long stuff i'm going to copy paste this over and over again 
I'm gonna make the content really, 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 really long. That way you can see there's an actual scrolling bar here. Which is just nice. Now we have a decent layout that's actually like not too sore for the eyes if you're colorblind at least. And fine, cool, we have something working yet. This is great. So back to our styles here. Uh, the final thing, let's just for fun, for pretty sake, for all our header tags, so I'm going to say H2, H2, H, all the H's basically, that we can possibly get H6. By default, they will have a color of tomato, which is a type of red. Fantastic. Uh, I'm going to go back up to my header, and I'm going to add an anchor tag around it. For now, this anchor tag's not going to... Well, it's going to go somewhere. We're going to say href equals slash. So it's just going to go to where we already are. It will go to home. If we're on another route, it will go there as well. Uh, now it's going to take on those decorations. So again, if we want to change things, we're going to have to go down into header. Now we're going to target the A tag inside header. And we're going to say, hey, we want a color of purple. Because purple is a cool color. And let's give it a text decoration of none. So at least now our header looks different. When you click on it, it goes places. That is absolutely wonderful. So that was SCSS. It's working now. Again, I can zoom this out a bit more. Doesn't help you much. Uh, but like essentially all our styles are fitting in here. This is great. In the next video, I'm going to show you how we can move some of this stuff out into smaller components. Like we can make header have its own component and footer have its own component. Because later on, we're going to go through navigation. But I first want to show you just how we can split things out. So, Because especially now with me showing you here, I don't want these files to be too big because they're hard to follow, obviously. I'd rather have more small files where you can see everything happening here than having to scroll all the time over here in the small viewpoint. I mean, I can try and expand this a bit, but that's not going to help you either. But this is cool. We've made progress. Our layout is looking a lot better, and we've very easily just added sassy CSS to our project. So this is great. Great progress. Anyways, I'll catch you in the next video. Cheers.